December 2nd, 1984. The Union Carbide India Limited Pesticide Plant in Bhopal, India. Water inadvertently entered a storage tank containing more than 80,000 pounds of methyl isocyanate, or MIC, which was known to react violently with water. This caused a runaway reaction that overheated the tank and resulted in a massive toxic gas release. A dense, lethal cloud drifted over the city of Bhopal, exposing hundreds of thousands of people to deadly MIC and other chemicals. An estimated 3,800 people died immediately, and tens of thousands were injured. Eventually, thousands more died from toxic gas-related illnesses in what had become history's worst industrial accident. Investigations found many process safety management deficiencies, including the absence of a process hazard analysis, poorly maintained equipment and safety systems, a lack of emergency response planning, and inadequate training for operators handling the deadly MIC. But others saw a deeper root cause. The father of process safety, the late Dr. Trevor Kletz, wrote, MIC wasn't a raw material or a product, but an intermediate. Storing it was convenient, but not essential. It could have been used as it was made. Then the worst leak would have been a few kilograms. The huge MIC release at Bhopal was a watershed event in the drive to make plant designs inherently safer. In the wake of Bhopal, Congress enacted new laws to increase chemical emergency preparedness and to require companies to develop process safety and risk management programs and to report their worst case release scenarios. Congress also established the Chemical Safety Board to investigate chemical accidents and recommend measures to prevent catastrophes. But despite these positive actions in the 1990s, the United States continues to experience serious chemical accidents. Process safety management regulations are in need of reform. There must be more emphasis on preventing the occurrence of major chemical accidents through safer design, responding to emergencies, and punishing people after the fact are not enough. Even now, CSB investigations following major accidents find deficiencies in design and process safety management similar to those uncovered in Bhopal. In 2008, an explosion killed two workers and injured eight others at a pesticide plant in Institute, West Virginia that was originally developed by Union Carbide. The explosion took place during a lengthy startup process when a runaway chemical reaction occurred inside a waste treatment vessel. Had the exploding vessel taken a different trajectory, pieces of it could have struck piping connected to a storage tank containing 13,700 pounds of methyl isocyanate, potentially causing a large release of the same highly toxic chemical that killed thousands in Bhopal. The CSB's investigation found that factors similar to those reported in Bhopal led to the explosion including incomplete operator training and procedures. In 2012, a massive fire put workers' lives at serious risk at a refinery in Northern California. The CSB found that the company repeatedly failed over a 10-year period to upgrade corroded piping using inherently safer materials. Eventually, the pipe became so thin, it ruptured. And in 2013, 15 people were killed and more than 200 were injured from an ammonium nitrate explosion in West Texas. The explosion caused widespread damage to homes, schools, and businesses up to a half mile away. Similar to the Bhopal disaster, emergency response plans were inadequate, and community members were not aware of the potential hazard in their midst. The CSB has found that current federal and state regulations do not focus enough on preventative measures or continuously reducing process risks. Therefore, the CSB has urged that federal or state process safety management regulations be reformed to require reducing risks to specific goals, using the most current industry standards, and ensuring that these standards contain adequate minimum requirements. Applying the hierarchy of controls with safe design as the preferred strategy, and using inherently safer technologies wherever feasible conducting damage mechanism hazard reviews, 
analyzing the effectiveness of safeguards, increasing attention to organizational safety, and broadening regulatory coverage to include reactive chemicals and atmospheric storage tanks. Following the Northern California refinery accident, the CSB recommended many of these changes to process safety management regulations in California, which the state is now actively pursuing. We are hopeful that similar process safety management reform will take place at the federal level. In August 2013, President Obama issued an executive order which directed federal agencies to modernize and improve chemical facility safety. In response, both OSHA and the EPA plan to revise their process safety management regulations. To further encourage these positive changes, the board has voted to include process safety management reform on the CSB's list of most wanted safety improvements. Both industry and government have increased their efforts to prevent chemical accidents. But CSB investigations show that much more needs to be done to assure that future tragedies will be avoided. 